these two are two flaps two flaps and this angle angle between the two is extremely small okay so here it is white the gap is white and as you go inward the gap narrows okay if since the angle is very small this angle is extremely small there will be capillary rise there will be capillary rise in it if the lower end is dipped in a liquid liquid will rise okay but it will not rise to equal heights at every point there will not be same rise reason is since this is white and since you know a is equal to 2t cos theta by r rho g so greater the greater the uh, radius of the capillary lesser will be the rise in height so here you do not have a uh, cylindrical capillary but this may be comparable to the radius here it is white so obviously height will be a uh, rise in height will be less okay here it is very narrow comparatively more narrow so there will be, means r is uh, less and comparatively there will be greater rise in height okay so the liquid will rise here it will rise to this side but yeah this rise is, is not uniform here it is say h1 and here it is say h2 okay this part is liquid so height is height is not a uh, rise in height is not uniform and rise in height depends on the distance of uh, the portion from the edge of the element at a distance x at a distance x this is x the rise in height is suppose h you have to find h as a function of x is this the question find rise in height h as a function of x okay so we will consider an element here uh, the shape of the element will be this will be the this will be the shape of the element is del phi del phi this angle is del phi h and del phi this is del x del x this distance is this distance is x okay so what is the what is the force due to surface tension surface tension force will act in this direction upward unit of surface tension newton per meter so force due to sub upward force due to surface tension due to surface tension equal to t into dx plus t into dx is it okay t into dx plus t into dx okay equal to 2t 
dx. This is the upward force. This will balance the weight of the liquid column. So for equilibrium of the liquid column of height h and cross section height h and cross section what about the cross section how you describe the cross section this is dx and this part this part is x into del phi a is equal to r into theta so this part will this is x into del phi using the formula a is equal to r into theta so x into del phi uh, so what is the uh, weight of this liquid column weight of this liquid column equal to since dx is extremely small take this to be a rectangle ok dx is extremely small you can take this to be a rectangle so what is the area of cross section area of cross section is ax into del phi dx x into del phi into area of cross section multiplied by the height h or into density into uh, this is the volume multiplied by the density into g into g okay have you understood the surface tension force d into del x plus t into del x total 2t del x and that whole and that force balances the weight of the whole column and since del x is very small you can take this to be a rectangle then what is the area of this rectangle dx into x into del phi multiplied by the height h so this is the volume volume multiplied by rho uh, mass into g so or contact angle is mm -hmm. contact angle is contact angle zero no no, no. Theta, 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 theta. theta oh contact angle is theta that means uh, let us look at the cross section look at the cross section from the front side if you look then surface tension will act like this so that means if you resolve we will have to resolve we will have to go for resolution of surface tension then the upward force this is the angle of contact angle of contact this is theta the angle of contact is theta theta it is given as theta mm -hmm. Achha. angle of contact is theta then this is t surface tension acts in this direction so its component is t cos theta so that means the upward force will be upward force will be t not t into dx plus t into dx it will be t cos theta t cos theta into dx plus t cos theta this angle is theta t cos theta into dx equal to 2 t cos theta dx is it okay so then 2 t cos theta dx Two t cos theta into dx equal to this, or h equal to dx dx cancelled. So h equal to two t cos theta by x into del phi into rho into g. Is this the answer? Yes.